I want to talk about placeholders. This is an idea I got from Paul McCartney, who in a very well-known experience woke up one morning from a dream where he dreamed this amazing melody. And when he woke up, he felt sure that his subconscious had uh, recalled some old jazz tune or some, some pop standard because the melody was so um, potent that he at first couldn't imagine it could have come from him. So he spent the morning calling up friends of his around the world and uh, singing the melody, humming the melody and asking, do you, do you recognize it? And nobody did. And he thought, well, if this is a song that I'm writing, that some part of me is writing, I need to be able to remember it. And so he came up with a nonsense sentence that was connected to scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Oh, how I love your leg. Now, you can probably um, tell from my um, improvisational rendition what the name of the song turned out to be. But until then, he needed some phrase that had the right meter, the right syllables, the right accents um, to, to, to hold the place for the true lyric, which, of course, became yesterday. This idea of generating placeholder lyrics until the real lyrics come through ended up having a profound effect on the method that I used to write my new book, The Ruby Heart of the Dragon. I found the, the book I wrote seven days a week for four years and three months. And during that period, I began to realize, I think it was maybe after the first year of writing, that much of what I'd written could be understood as placeholder lyrics. They weren't the real full lyric of the book. They weren't the whole message and all the statements and all the poetry, but they were close enough to hold the space. And I realized my subconscious and also probably my supraconscious, the, the levels of consciousness that are both above and below my normal everyday consciousness knew much more about <laughs> what the book was and what they had to say than I did, than my normal consciousness did. So kind of like McCartney, I uh, I spent four years waking up from a dream and trying to get back to the dream through prose, through text in, in the physical world and the work I did every day, which was a, a shamanic initiation, not just a book writing process. And as that was, like I said, around the end of the first year, and as I went through the next three years, those placeholders filled in with the real book uh, in ways that were sometimes very uh, extraordinary and um, uh, synchronistic and um, profound. Uh, I did a lot of crying while I wrote this book. And I feel that the placeholder idea is also a mystical uh, rite of passage where if your underlying subtext is love, if that's the main message that some part of you wishes to send to the world throughout your normal everyday words and phrases and your nonverbal <laughs> words and phrases, your telepathic contact, then everything else you say can be seen as a placeholder. <laughs>